Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. It's getting. Some legends are told, some turn to dust or to gold, but you will. The Industrial Revolution was a time where machines not only changed the way people lived, but also the methods of manufacturing. Many labor-saving machines were created, which not only led to a massive increase in production and wealth, but also population in cities, as well as... Whoa, 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 you gotta watch your far ahead. Let me take you from here. The Industrial Revolution began in the 18th century in Britain, when both of the animals began to expand their land and experiment with their farming. Because seeds were often sown too close together, Jethro Tull developed a seed drill to fix this issue. The idea of crop rotation developed, livestock breeders only allowed their best animals to breed, and the cotton gin moved seeds far faster than As I was saying, as larger farmers brought the work lines of smaller farmers, those laborers moved into urban cities, which not only led to a large influx in population, but also caused the cities to expand. The British textile industry became huge as more and more people began to innovate the threaded machines. First, the flying shuttle was created by John Kay in 1733. It was far too fast for people to keep up with. So, a contest was set up to motivate people to invent an even better thunder machine. Three years later, James Hargreaves invented the spinning wheel, which allowed one spinner to work eight threads simultaneously. Then Richard Arkwright invented the water frame, which is a machine that uses water power to drive wheels. Then, Samuel Compton invented a machine that was a combination of the spinning jenny and the water frame called the spinning mule. Nobody wants to hear about your stupid thunder machines anymore, Louise. Then Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin, which made the British textile industry much more efficient. Moving on, the steam engine was another big implementation into the Industrial Revolution. It was first used to pump water out of mine shafts, but then James Watt found a way to make it more efficient while using less fuel. It was then found that these steam engines could be helpful, so water transportation was more utilized as more man-made waterways were invented. The Industrial Revolution wasn't all just farms of flowers either. Some people really suffered. Swelling to the city was so unexpected that there was no regulation of sanitation for buildings. Many families shared one small home. Waste was left on the streets, sickness and epidemic spread, and lifespan increased dramatically. Then a new middle class emerged. The old middle class consisted of business people, wealthy farmers, and professionals. However, people who owned factories began to earn so much money that they merged into the new upper class. This new upper middle class now consisted of government workers, doctors, lawyers, and managers of mops, factories, and mines. The new middle class consisted of skilled workers such as tool makers, mechanical drafters, and, and printers. printers. We're gonna take a break here, people. Time for fun facts with Ashley and Matthew. The average life of a factory worker included 14 hours a day for six days. Women and children worked in mine shafts because they were less expensive and more expendable. Lifespan went from about 38 years in the farms to about 17 years in the factories. It was illegal if two or more people decided. And we're back. What was that again? Oh yeah, eventually the Industrial Revolution found its way to the US. Britain had prevented any of its engineers, tool makers, or its mechanics from leaving the country in order to prevent their seagulls from being spread around. Naturally, some people found their way out anyways. Simon years later, a young British mill worker had found its way into the US and had built the spinning jetty almost from complete memory. Francis Cobb Lowell had then mechanized every stage of the, of the manufacturing of cloth. Germany and Belgium had actually followed up against Britain because more and more British workers had actually escaped, illegally escaped the country. Hey! What? You completely forgot about the part about the mill girls. Thousands of young single women became mill girls in hopes to earn higher wages and independence. For most of them, the only other option is to become a servant. However, since men are such big headed dookie brains, women were kept a careful eye on to ensure proper behavior. Anyways, the Industrial Revolution also brought on the ideas of imperialism, which gave them more power and wealth to the already wealthy nations. Britain had led in this movement, and many other countries followed behind them. Other economic systems included capitalism, socialism, and communism. Eventually, though, people began to care about how people were treated in factories. People would then joined together in associations called unions, and then went on strike. These strikes enforced governments to make reform laws, putting restraints on child labor and abolishing slavery. Since women were such big participants in the abolition of slavery, they began to wonder why their rights were denied because of their gender. They started a movement, and they found the International Council of Women in 1888. Other reforms included public education and prison. You're annoying. And done! Woo! Okay. Do you still recording? Yeah? I'm just stuck from there. Yeah, I'll just say That's what I mean. <laughs> However, since men are such big headed dookie brains, the moment we kept a careful eye on to ensure proper behavior. No, because you already did that. Yeah, I know, but the other part is weird. You just cut it off for like you. Let's go, yeah. I'm not going to do that part again. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody. <laughs> 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 
Okay, I said, nope, gotta do that again. Okay. People join together in unions, fuck, nope. Oh, is that my line? Yeah, that was your line. Fuck! It matters, wait. You need to push harder, because like, I'm just jumping out of the shot. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know what you're doing. It's okay. It matters, it matters. That was a good push, that was a good push. Nice push. However, it says better such big headed dookie brains. <sighs> Fuck. I know. People joining associations called unions and went on strike. <laughs> the Industrial Revolution wasn't all just hearts and flowers either. <laughs> I need to pee so bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me take it from here. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm so sorry. I need you to pee. <laughs> The idea of we with just makes a lot of to reform to make the countries begin to lead up for their own. You would have make stroke and have actually lead actually. Professionals. Is that your line? <laughs> That's why it's in it too. Yes. This is so gross. I eventually gotten close. Ready? Wait, you don't see her legs, right? No! You better not be that close. <laughs> Why no. are you laughing? 15 hours a day for 6 days a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my hand hurts. 